Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Honestly, like, I'm having a lot of trouble making this video, and I even have a script in front of me because I, I, I had to write down my thoughts because they were just so wild and out of control. This video doesn't even feel right for me to make. I, I don't know how to express how I feel about this. It's been a very long and emotional day, and I, I, I wouldn't feel right if I didn't talk about this subject even though I don't want to talk about this subject but I do need to change the outfit first this is more like it today's video is gonna be about how we can apply Kobe Bryant's legacy in our own world and how can we use his death as a motivation for us to take our lives more seriously it wasn't just Kobe Bryant who died it was his daughter as well and some of you might be like what SQ what about all the Muslims that are dying in the world yeah I get that that's a reality that we are facing but Kobe Bryant is such a prominent figure that this can shock ripple waves in the world to an extent that this causes a lot more people to ponder and think about death. This allows death to be in the forefront of people's minds and to realize that this world is very, very unpredictable. So I'm going to be talking about three life lessons that we can apply in our lives to become better Muslims from the life of Kobe Bryant. I want to see how we can apply his Mamba mentality for us to earn the hereafter. See, a lot of things that Kobe does is that he teaches us how to work for a goal, how to be dedicated and disciplined to achieve and accomplish a goal. We can apply and use this work ethic that Kobe had, this Mamba mentality, if I might say so myself, to apply this to our hereafter and how we have to be relentless and unstoppable with our quest to please Allah. Kobe Bryant often talks about him waking up early in the morning to train. I normally wake up at about 4.30 and um... 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. And I get ready to work out. We need to use that same mentality with the goal in our mind for it to be Jannah. There's nothing wrong for you to have accolades and riches and goodness in this world, but if that's the priority, then you're gonna lose. Another lesson that we learned from the death and the passing of Kobe Bryant is the narration that one should never wake up in the morning thinking they will make it until the evening. And that same person should not go to sleep thinking they will wake up in the morning. This allows the person to make the most of their day. This allows the person to pray every salah as if it was their last salah. And they're not thinking about, I will delay a good deed or I will you know, delay a good action. They are more likely to do things in the moment and they're quick to act now because they don't believe that they will make it in the morning or they will even make it till this evening. The final lesson that we learned from Kobe Bryant's life and death to be honest with you is that ask yourself how do you want to be remembered. Kobe Bryant was obsessed in making sure he was remembered as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. No, a sense of purpose was there ever since I was a kid. I knew exactly, I, I felt like I knew what God put me on this earth to do. Just play the game of basketball. I just love it so much. I'm here to let you know right now that if we apply that same Mamba mentality to our hereafter and our dunya, of course, we can achieve greatness, guys. Don't you want to be someone who, when they pass away, where people are just like, man, we lost someone really important. Take a look at someone like Ali Banat. We all know the story that when this man found out that he had cancer, that changed his life and that propelled him to do amazing things. And when he passed away, in the blessed month of Ramadan, it was a consensus mourning happening all across social media. And I, I'm inspired by that. And I pray that you're inspired by this too because Ali Banab had that Mamba mentality where he's not letting any moment be wasted because he was focused on his Sadaqah Jariyah, his legacy. And that's what I want you to be focused on as well. The lesson that we learned from Kobe Bryant is to focus on your Sadaqah Jariyah. Be obsessed with your Sadaqah Jariyah, with how will people remember you? What is your legacy going to be in this dunya? Are you going to give knowledge to people that will help you in your hereafter and to elevate you and alleviate any possible pain or harm that can cause you in your grave? Are you going to have 
pious offsprings who will carry out your name and good righteous deeds and manners? Are you going to give sadaqah so that people are benefiting from your wealth? Are you going to build a school, build a well, plant a tree? What is your legacy going to be to help out the world so that when the world forgets you, no matter how much amazing things that you have done, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never forgets you and the angels never forget you and those who are continuously benefiting from your good acts will never forget you as well because those deeds, that sadaqah is being written under your name. This legacy that we have, we have to focus on this guys and we have to be inspired by this man's life to realize that we need to be obsessed with Sadaqah Jariyah. I am personally moved to be obsessed with my own Sadaqah Jariyah that I want to make a commitment to donating and giving free Qur'ans. Please guys, start investing in your Sadaqah Jariyah. I'm begging you as I advise myself guys, please start focusing on your Sadaqah Jariyah just a little more, be a little more conscious. And if you would like to focus on this as well, I am teaming up with the Furqan project to give out free Qur'ans and if you would like to help your Sadaqah Jariya in this guys there will be a link in my description below to see how you can help donate Qur'ans guys it only takes two dollars to donate a Qur'an and believe me your Sadaqah Jariya is guaranteed and protected so if you want to have that Mamba mentality and you want to know like man how can I be driven and obsessed with my hereafter it starts with Sadaqah Jariya guys it starts with you doing deeds that make and create houses and mansions and palaces for us and the hereafter in paradise and Jantan for those. But please don't let this opportunity slip you by. That was the video guys. I pray that you benefited from this once again. Thank you so much for watching. It really sucked to make this video, honestly. Like I have a crazy splitting headache right now because this has been on my mind a lot, guys. Um, you know, Kobe Bryant is one of my favorite basketball players of all time. And just to see this happen, wallahi, it, it reminds you. It's a real reminder that death can suddenly come to you. Like, I, I know this already, and I know you know this already, but this is a reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about death and its reality. And if you would like to help support and gain some sadaqah jariya and donate some free Qur'ans, the link is in the description. I highly advise you to click that link and secure your own hereafter, guys. It's for your own benefit. And until next time, Mamba out.